Hi everyone and welcome to my tutorial and this is for the live stream and I know some people are really curious about it and I'm going to teach you guys. Uh, basically you have to be partnered with um, you know something like TGN Yaush or Social Blade and you need to talk to people there if you haven't gotten the feature. So basically you need to set up a live stream on YouTube and you will see that you have it if you have this under your uploads. It's called Live Events. And here you can see my first one. And I know I have some stuff that you haven't seen it. Um, go on. So, you need to schedule something. Let's just say I want to schedule for something. Um, on top of scheduling for things, you need to download the program, which is you can either click on Mac or Windows. That's pretty straightforward. Um, so, I want to schedule something. Let's go to a new live event. You can click on that. And I'm going to make one up. Don't don't think this is something real, okay? So I'm going to say um, playing, or I don't know, Q&A with Ali Mew. And you can put whatever you want in the description. I am a noob. And, you know, put your tags that you think will get you, you know, somewhere. Which, you know, sometimes I do put, you know, um, video game, uh, Xbox 360, because I'm an Xbox 360 person. I'll put PlayStation as well, because I also play on the PlayStation. Choose your category, and, you know, this is from a gaming channel, so I would put gaming. Some people would put um, people on blogs, pets or animals if you want to. And I would list it as public because then people would see it and they would be able to be like, oh, this event is going to happen. So you will want to make it public. I put it on standard YouTube license. You heard my text go off. It's a one up. And, you know, this is the most important part. This is when you get to, like, um, choose what time. Let's just say I'm going to do it tomorrow. Like I said, this is not real. Um, I want it for two hours. You can make it less than that. Um, always keep in mind that you know, people who watch your YouTube channel may be from a different country. And, you know, make sure this time zone is for your time zone because it is definitely for Eastern. That's where I am at. And you have to agree to these terms and conditions. Um, don't forget to check these things. Uh, this disabling video will not be automatically recorded. This is not what you want to do if you want to have this, um, you want to be able to play it back for other people who missed it. So, you know, enable. And the maximum is four hours, which is understandable. I would not want to be, you know, chatting for four hours nonstop. That'd be too crazy. Maybe if I was able to, you know, put some gameplay, then, yeah, maybe four hours. But, like, I, I prefer to do one to two hours. And claiming options, this is if you guys are partnered, you will have this option. You can put your ID if you're TGN. I know you have to put your ID. If you're not part of TGN, I think full screen and some others, all you have to do is just claim it if you want to. And if you want to do any of these things... Uh, you can fill out. I usually don't fill out this. I fill out the basic info, everything that I need, and hit create an event. Um, now that that's being done, um, let's, uh, well, I did put a thumbnail. Browse for something, put it up. I have nothing at the moment for you guys. Uh, <laughs> but I made sure I went to Photoshop and I made sure it was 60, 40 pixels by 30, you know, 390. Okay, make sure it's no, you know, celebrity, nudity, blah, blah, blah. You know, you have yourself or some artwork you did by yourself so you don't get into any, like, trouble. So I downloaded the, you know, thing. And you can see here. Let's open it up. This is what happens. Let's just say it's on the day of. You're going to do it. Put your channel name. I'm you gaming. And I'm going to skip this part. Would you like? No. But if you guys want, you can have a tutorial. So let's just say you're about to get on. There's a couple of seconds to go. And this is what I was doing. I was actually learning the program as I was doing it. Um, you can actually watch it, view it on channel. You can. What I did is I was viewing it on channel, and you can actually see the live comments coming through over here. That's a freaking commercial. This is what I would do, view it on channel. You can look at the live control room. This is what you would do. Um, even though you are streaming here, let's just say I click here, you will not be streaming until you go into the live control room and you say start streaming. Once you click it, you are really there. You will be showing on the event. And if you, God forbid, something happens, you can do this so people know what's happening. 
you know, we're experiencing di technical difficulties. They actually have, like, you know, a lot of stuff. And just to tell you, this is still beta, and that's why I actually had trouble reading live comments that was coming up. It didn't show up, which is really bad. And you can check out, you know, who's been on it. And this is, this is like I said, for the the one that hasn't happened, and this isn't going to happen because it's just an example for you guys. So, anyway, before you hit start streaming, you want to see what's happening over here. So, I did figure out how to show people, you know, uh, to have, like, let's just say you want Google Hangout, or you want to stream a Skype, you know, a video call. Go to add a desktop, and you can also show yourself playing League of Legends, um, you know, some PC game, or you can even show yourselves, um, you know, playing you know, a video game through Elgato or whatever you want to do. So let's just add a desktop, and I'll add my desktop here. Right now I'm on my freaking laptop, and you're going to see how it's going to look like. Uh, yes, here it is. So, there, what is So funny. That's actually my other one. Why is it my other one here? So my desktop recording program will crash on me if I don't, you know, have a separate camera. So anyway, so you're going to click here, add a desktop. I know this is so ghetto. Launch desktop presentation. Before you actually saw my huge iMac, not my, not my small little laptop that is doing. And you can add a desktop and then I would click here. So use Ally Muse book, MacBook Pro. Yes, please. And then you don't see anything because for some reason you have to click here. I don't know why. It's like some magical button that you can click here. Then you'll be able to see your desktop. So, you know, you would want to close this. And it can show whatever's happening over here. And then you can also Skype with someone. I'll show you that footage right now. I figured out how you can probably Skype with your face with someone else or Google Hangout. So basically, do not start up your camera. Start up your desktop first, and here I just dropped my cell phone. Look at him. He actually just dropped my cell phone. Sorry about that. I know. I have ADD probably. All right, I'm going to call him now. Call, video call. He's probably not going to talk because he said his parents are sleeping right now. So. Hi. I know he's not going to talk, but... Look, you can actually see it on the screen, and you can blow it up probably, and let me see if I can make this any bigger. And there you go, you can actually live stream with Skyping with someone, you can actually see the screen. I'm not going to blow it up too big, but I'm pretty sure when you blow it big, you can actually see it on the thing. And that's Skirst1, I'm going to include his link. Thank you for helping me out, Scotty. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I know my desktop is going to crash again if I do this, so I'm going to show you guys this way. Um, if you want to see yourself. Now, this is only going to work if you know absolutely that you are not going to show a Skype conversation or Google Hangout. Now, you can go here, add a camera, which is built in eyesight for me. That's my camera right now that I'm using. Click on it, and you can see a preview over here. I look so weird. It's me. Hi, I don't, my eyes aren't that dark, I hope. Ooh, my bangs are weird. Anyway, um, pretty much that's what you do. And I will tell you that when you have audio over here, just make sure um, you click this because it's going to start echoing. Um, this means you can, you can, you know, click this. You won't hear the output of it. It won't, like, echo like crazy. Make sure you have... Um, Make sure you have earphones or earplugs, plug it in so you can just listen to yourself or you can mute it, which I would click here. And then you can add audio, which is your built-in microphone or built-in input. I don't know if you can see it. Put my built-in input. And you should be able to see, you know, like, it go off. I don't know why it's not going off. Hello? Built-in. Hello? 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 So what you do, like I said, you click that, and you can see that it's working now. Yay! So that ensures your audio to be really good. You can actually add overlays. I, I have not tried that yet. I can actually try it for you guys. I don't know. Add a media file. 
I don't know, it's green recording. I have no idea what these are, but, um, I don't know. Do I have anything in here? Original movies, new event. I have no idea what this is. It's going to surprise me. Okay. And I'll overlay, like, a video that I made a long time ago. Um, don't judge me. Basically, it was an art project, and that's pretty cool. It's a, it's an art project I drew on, actually, my ex-boyfriend's back. This is so awkward to watch. But, um, it was more sped up, and this is extremely awkward for me, so don't mind me. At least you guys learned that you can actually show... Um, let's just say a game thing with someone like your gameplay and talk about it and I'm gonna remove it ah, But that was pretty cool. You can actually add media files. I don't know add a media file I'll add one from my I don't know I see I know I have stuff and I feel so awkward looking at this stuff Where's my desktop? Random recording folder Live stream on YouTube, Vindictus. So I did something for Vindictus. I can let me try opening it. So I did something for them. Oh, look at the little thumbnail. Now I'm gonna click on it, and I'll just cross into it, and then you can see it. You can probably hear it, but right now you can't hear it because I already, you know, muted it on this computer. But people will be able to see it. I look so much better there. Why? And it just repeated. So you can always like loop it. I don't want to, or just play from the start. Um, whatever you want. I'm going to remove it now. And it just fades out into it and comes back to my built-in, which is awesome. I mean, if it doesn't work, click here again, and you'll get back to it. You can actually add more cameras, which is awesome. I actually didn't know I can add my desktop, so maybe I can have, like, you know, game streaming, and I can click on it. So maybe I'll just go into my uh, desktop and see if I can play a game. So just pretend this is what it is because my equipment actually, my MacBook can actually be synced up to my iMac. And just pretend, let's just say it's, it's on here because I don't have my Elgato hooked up. I don't usually use my laptop to do it anyway. So you'd pick up your whichever one that you're using. I have to use my iMac. And you can click here and it fades into this. And you can actually probably make this bigger if you want. Or you can, um, over here actually on the Mac program, you can actually capture, select a region of the screen. <laughs> and let's see, select. I don't know how I can select one. Custom. I don't know, select a region. Anyway, let's just say you can blow it up really big because I'm trying really hard for it. So you have that, right? And you can stream this if you wanted to, of your gameplay, something live or not. And, you know, pick your desktop and then you can play it. I'm going to tell you it will lag slightly because you are streaming data. So <laughs> you can't help it. It is not Elgato's fault. Um, this fault is actually between the fact that you were at the same time this is a, an Elgato that's already you know like not even Elgato or if you were using an HD PVR those two capture devices or any capture device is already capturing a video on top of it now you're capturing video off of your desktop so it's gonna be extra laggy I will not recommend that I'd rather you guys play a media file that you already have of a gameplay or a video of yourself or something you know your cat did something retarded put it into the media file over here and you are you know you're golden I think it's harder to stream video like that it's better for you to just stream from twitch and you know just do that and use XSplit or you know the Elgato beta software anyway so that's pretty much what I know about um, the Wirecast um, after you're done I will show you guys what you should do so now you're done I took off all the camera you will and it will not say you know it will say connected and then it will say, and then click on it it'll disconnect you this is not when you're fully disconnect I found out the hard way I, my video went over like 15 minutes because I didn't know I had to click 
stop streaming. Instead of start streaming, it will say, you know, recording or streaming already or live. And then all and then all you have to do is click it and you'll be off. So remember, you need to stop this and stop it in the live control. Okay? And I'm going to show you guys what happens after you're done with the event. You're done with the event. Um <laughs> Wow, that's so cute. They actually have that for me. Anyway, um, let's go to your, let's just say you completed it, it disappears. After you're done, it actually disappears from here, this queue, and go to completed. This is my completed. <coughs> it was 11.17, and you can actually download the report. Um, it'll be in, an, I think, in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to open it. You can see your stats. I don't know exactly, like, how many... People, you know, exactly watched it. This is AU. I'm, I'm assuming this is Australia. BE, I'm not too sure. BR, is that Brazil? Is CA Canada? <coughs> DK, is that... I have no idea what DK is. DZ, I don't know what... FR is probably France. I don't know. HK sounds like Hong Kong. J, JP, you know, Japan. Italy, MA is Mexico. So there's a lot of other things you can learn from it. Um, you can go to live control room. <coughs> Excuse me. And by now you can see. See, look, I went over 13 minutes. I have to. I had to do it for an hour. <coughs> Cough drop. Um. So, you see all your stats. This is something really important. You know, you'll see zero, six, twenty-three, twenty-five. Um, peak. There were 34 people at one point. I'm so glad there was a you know huge. The live comments aren't live. Do not check this out. Like I told you, you should view this where it was. Um, I'll show you which is later. 238 playbacks. You see a lot of crazy. This looks like a cool picture. It looks like a little mountain. So you know you'll, you'll get you know stuff that you want to know about. And I would suggest you to check out. Um, when you're actually here live, you can actually view it on the channel. So you'll have this option, view on channel, which is great. Have this open on a second window. Keep this, you know, standby. I actually pause my video so I don't hear myself twice. And I'm going to pause this. And you'll see, like, um, over here, actually, when you're live, and it will say live over here as well, you'll see um, all the chat. And there's actually an option that you can click saying um, enable update you want that because chances are the people are going to be writing a lot of stuff and you're going to want to you know have it update constantly and even then the updates don't come you know immediately and I had to like go back and it's sort of lag but you know I think it was a good turnout and so far uh, you know it's whatever um I actually like the YouTube streaming I just think the comments need to be you know, immediately updated. You know, there's nothing I can do about it until YouTube fixes it. And all these comments were in that little box. And I was able to read through most of them, and I'm happy about that. And I ended up with, I think, 292 comments, which is awesome. And, you know, that's how I pretty much did it. So I hope you guys learned a lot from this video, and this is pretty much what I know. And if I know anything else, I'll probably add to it. But Yes, you can, you know, definitely Skype or do a Google Hangout, but I would, you know, like I said, it's it's pretty sketchy at the point where I think that the video will slightly lag. It might. I mean, this is my first time using it, and, you know, I hope that you guys also experiment it, th those of you that can, and, you know, good luck, and have fun.